Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also join our group on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about the Hittites. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now, give you praise because you have been so good. You have been our healer, our protector. We give you glory and honor for you have been our savior and our mind keeper. And we pray that you will forgive us, wash us in your blood, take out an old heart, put a new one in us, bestow your grace and your mercy upon us, open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God, release salvation, heal and deliver us, sounds, wonders, miracles, release fresh revelation, confirmation of your word. We ask this through Jesus, we do pray, amen. The Hittites, though uh, rather obscure in the scope of world history. The Hittite nation played an important role in the history of the Old Testament, has since helped the accuracy of the Bible. For many years, archaeologists and historians knew nothing of the Hittites and, critic and critics of the Bible, treating the Hittites as proof of the mythology contained in the Bible. The critics reasoned that since they had no archaeological evidence of a Hittite civilization, it must never have existed in in the Bible must preforce the wrong, however, many archaeological discoveries beginning in eighteen seventy six have since proven that the Hittites were a powerful people in the 15th to 16th century B.C. The Hittites are mentioned more than 50 times in the Bible. They were descended from Hev, the son of Canaan and great-grandson of Moses. They ruled in the area of Syria and eastern Turkey, battled with Egypt and Babylon for territory. Babylonian and Assyrian records refer to Syria and Israel as Hate. Hadi land and that their territory as a great part of the promised land for Israel. Abraham was well acquainted with the Hittites. He bought the burial cave for Sarah from there. Esau took wives uh, took wives from among the Hittites and Uriah the Hittite was one of David's mighty men. The Hittites are mentioned throughout kingdom years even after the Jews returned from captivity. It is assumed that the Hittites were eventually absorbed into the surrounding cultures and lost their distinctive identity. The religion of the Hittites was a pluralistic worship of nature. They believed in various gods uh, goods over the elements, earth, sky, weather, and these gods often listed as witnesses on treaties and oaths as in most pagan societies. This nature worship led to defecate practices which brought the wrath of the true God on them when God delivered Canaan into to the Israelites, and one of the given reasons for destroying the inhabitants was to eliminate the pagan practices, which uh, would in insane it in, ensnare God's people. God didn't want the, His people following the idolatry of the Hittites. The description of, of the land transactions and personal covenants recorded in Genesis bear a strong resemblance to the, uh, to Hittite records discovered by archaeologists. King Tepenis was the greatest Hittite legislator and his law codes bear a striking resemblance to the law and arrangement of the law of Moses. Although the subject is the subject matter is different the discoveries concerning the Hittite kingdom has been a 
great support to the detail recorded in the Bible. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer and really, really mean it. So repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner, asking you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and God himself has raised him from the dead. Right now, Lord Jesus, I open up the door and let Jesus into my life. I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and erased off the corners of hell. Get your Bible. Start reading the book of Psalms of Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live. And Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintlministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can also sow your seed by cash app at dollar sign blondie badger and that's spelled b-l-o-n-d-i-e-b-a-d-g-e-r or you can mail a check for money or to make a payable to healing wings international ministry inbox us on eagles healing hope broadcast or healing wings international ministry pages to get the address to mail your seed or you can email us at Healing Wings, I-N-T-L Ministry at gmail.com. Your offers will go the further the kingdom of God. I want you to subscribe to our Healing Wings International Ministry YouTube channel. You can do it on your phone, laptop, computer, and TV, and tablet also. You go to YouTube, just put in, or you can get, you can do like the little microphone and put in Healing Wings International Ministry. Go in, you can look at some of our, um, our, our broadcasts that we have done, click the subscribe button and also click the bell and you'll be notified when we have a new broadcast. This was brought to you by the Partners, Programs, and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive and remember there is hope. Be blessed.